everyone, it's Miss Patsy at Castile Animation Lab, and today we're going to be discussing um, Investigation 3, Concentrations, and Part 2, Salt Concentrations. The question is, how can you determine which salt solution is more concentrated? Now, last time when we um, did our experiment, we did it with uh, punch, and we were able, we had Mrs. Lyon taste the different concentrations. Now, with salt concentrations, we don't want to do that. I, I'm sure Mrs. Lyon won't want to volunteer for that. So, um, we'll, uh, we're gonna find another way to determine um, concentrations without tasting. But first, I want to review some um, questions with you. What is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture of a solvent, in this case we're using water, and a solute, in this case we're using salt. How do you increase the concentration of a solution? You add more solute or salt or less water, the solvent. How do you decrease the concentration of a solution? Add less solute or salt. Now, if you guys are having trouble remembering which one is solute um, and which one is the solvent, um, remember that water is considered a universal solvent or a common solvent. So water is used, used a lot as a solvent and um, it's used a lot to dissolve um, things. So if you think about dissolve and solvent, then you'll remember water. And for solute, um, it could be, sol there's a lot of different solutes that we use, um, drink powder, salt, sugar, but um, in order to remember that that's the solute, think about solubility, which is um, how much a volume of water can dissolve a solute. So that's the solubility. Um, which we'll get into in a few investigations. So the next question is, what is the term that we use when a solution is less concentrated? And that means it's dilute or diluted. Okay, so for this experiment, we have, I have three cups labeled one, two, and three, a um, measuring cup of water and a beaker to measure um, the water, a stir stick, a teaspoon to measure the, the salt, which is going to be our solute, and a scale. So first, I'm going to put um, 50 mLs of water into cups one and two. And in solution one, I'm going to put one spoonful of salt. And in solution two, I'm going to put in three spoons of salt. Okay, stir it up so that the salt will dissolve. And we want it to be a homogeneous solution, which means that it's same throughout. Homo coming from the Greek same, genius kind. So now if we look at both cups one and two, they look pretty much the same. Cup two is a little bit cloudier, but I think if we wait a few minutes, um, it will look the same. So when we look at the similarities, 
they're pretty clear. Um, there's the same amount of water in both cups. And um, if we look at differences, we don't really notice di any difference right offhand. They look um, exactly the same. So now we're going to weigh our solutions. And I'd like you to make a uh, prediction of what you think um, will happen. Um, what will we observe? Um, do you think there will be a difference in the mass between cups one and two? And um, do you think that it would be um, a, a large difference or a small difference? So let's go ahead and weigh cup number one. It weighs 65 grams. And cup number two, that weighs 70 grams. So if you predicted that we would find a difference in mass, you are correct. And it's a five gram difference between um, cups one and two. So now we're going to make a third solution. And in this cup, we're going to mix 150 milliliters of water. And three spoons of salt. And I want to know if you think that this will be more concentrated than cup one or less concentrated than cup one. Let's get rid of that one. Now remember in cup one, we put one scoop, one spoon of salt in 50 mLs of water and in cup three, we put three spoonfuls of salt in 150 mLs of water. So how can we determine by using our scale whether or not this is more or less or the same concentration of cup one? Well, first we have to make, in order to weigh cup number three, we know that it will weigh more because it has three times the volume of water. So we only wanna take 50 mLs of it so that it will match the 50 mLs in, the, um, in cup number one. Okay, let's weigh cup number, weigh the solution in cup number three, and it comes out to 65, which is the exact same concentration as cup number one. So even though we have more, more of a solution in cup number three, it's the same concentration as cup number one. And we could do that mathematically by dividing it by three. We have um, 50 mLs in this cup, and we had 150 mLs in this cup. Divide 150 by three and you get 50 mLs, which is the same. Also, we have one cup, uh, one, one spoonful of salt in this cup, and we have three spoonfuls of, cup, uh, of salt in this cup, which divided by three is one spoonful of cup in, uh, one spoonful of salt in this cup. So the concentrations in both cup one and three are the same. <laughs> so 
So that's all for today. Thanks and see you next time.